Hello friends. Welcome to my new Bootstrap 3 tutorial series video. Friends. In our previous tutorial, we learned what is Bootstrap 3 and how to set up environment for developing responsive web applications. In this tutorial, we will code our first simple Bootstrap 3 web application. Let's code it in introduction folder we created in previous tutorial. Right click on introduction folder and create a new file. Save it as index.html in the introduction folder. This will be our HTML file where we will code our first Bootstrap 3 web application. In HTML file, on first line, type doc type tag. And after typing HTML do a control space. Sublime Text will create a basic HTML template for you. Moving ahead. Let's give a title as, Introduction to Bootstrap 3. Moving ahead. First, we should tell browsers that, our website contains characters from the Unicode character set, a superset of the ASCII character set. This is done using the meta tag. Secondly, we need to tell browser that, our site will consume all the space available inside the browser window. That is whether it's a tablet or a mobile or even a desktop screen, we usually set width equal to device width. Moving ahead. We also tell the browser to scale our application to the size of window space available. Initial scale equal to 1 means scale it to 100% and provide no zoom. If we go to bootstrap site under CSS section. We can see using viewport meta tag makes it achieves feature of mobile first development. You can also disable zooming facility on browser, by using user scalable to know. For now let's keep it simple and move ahead. Next, in order to use bootstrap CSS in our first web application, we have to include bootstrap.min.css file, into index.html file. In href provide the path to CSS file as demonstrated. Moving ahead. We need to add two JavaScript files required by Bootstrap. One is jQuery.js file. Let's go ahead and download jQuery.js file from jQuery.com. On home page, click on download jQuery button. Now, download latest compressed jQuery JavaScript file. We will copy the jQuery JavaScript file into our Bootstrap JS folder to keep it simple for now. I will rename it to simple name as jQuery.js. In our index.html, we will provide source path as js slash jQuery.js. Also, in following line we will include bootstrap.js file. That's it, we have included files to code our first Bootstrap web application. Let's move ahead and see what Bootstrap CSS classes does to normal HTML elements. In this basic example, I will demonstrate working a basic class of Bootstrap called as container. 
we will discuss container class more in upcoming tutorial. For now just use it the way I am using in index.html, and see its effect on browser. In div element use bootstrap class as, container. Under div element, create a h1 heading, saying welcome to bootstrap 3. Below h1 heading let's add a paragraph. Type lorem and do a control space. Sublime text will include lorem ipsum paragraph for us, thus will save our typing. Moving ahead. Now let's see what bootstrap container class does to h1 heading and paragraph elements. We will copy file path and open it in web browser. You can see how heading and paragraph are rendered on a browser in a container with a padding all around. In this tutorial we coded our first bootstrap web application. In upcoming tutorials, we will code more bootstrap 3 features and components. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, coding first simple bootstrap 3 web application, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give 1 minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.